And I think we are live. Or at least we are recording. So, yes, welcome everyone. Um, I was at first planning to do a blog post about this topic. Uh, but then making a blog post and just adding a lot of screenshots, it's a bit time consuming, actually. So, I'm gonna try this out and make a video instead, and hopefully that will also be a bit more helpful, because sometimes it's hard to explain everything in text and pictures, and just easier to show off like this in a video. So, we're gonna see how it goes. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so, the topic for today is uh, device collections and how we can populate device collection with the help of Active Directory groups. Uh, for example, there might be... You might want to deploy... Uh, well, you might want to deploy applications based on different uh, Active Directory groups. Uh, let's say you have an Active Directory group that you will call uh, Adobe Reader. And all the objects going into Adobe Re Reader should get the Adobe Reader application. And if you're doing the deployment with a CCM, then you need a device collection. So we're going to make a device collection based upon an Active Directory group. So we're going to start out, and this is my test environment. Uh, so we're gonna start out, make, uh, go to Active Directory user group and computer, users, and users and computers. Uh, make a new group. I'm gonna call it special group because this is a special group. We wanna make it global. It's actually a security group. And we're gonna add a member. Uh, we're gonna add a computer object. There we go. So we have a computer. Add it to our group. This is the first step. So we have a special group. Security groups, that's special. Uh, next thing is to configure configuration manager. Let's go to administration, uh, discover method. And then here we have something called Active Directory Group Discovery. And it's by default disabled. We're gonna to go to Properties. We're gonna enable this. And we're gonna add groups. Give it a name, uh, special group. Special group just for the sake of it. Then we're gonna to go to Browse. And we're gonna find the special group. There we go. Special group. Add it. Give it a few seconds here to load up. Come on. And there it is. We're gonna use the site server computer account. And I just wanna show you here the under polling schedule. Uh, this is enabled by default, enable Delta Discovery. Uh, so, what this means is that, let's say you add or remove a computer object in this group. Uh, this will be enabled to uh, figure that out. So, the, well, the object can be added to the device collection uh, automatically, so you don't have to do anything by yourself. Otherwise, there's a full discovery problem schedule occurs every seven days. That's fine. And yeah, it's a fun door uh, options as well, but we're not going to take a look at that today. Uh, apply, and it's just going to prompt you that you want to run. Uh, it's going to run a full discovery. And yes, do that. So we have an Active Directory group. We have activated in configuration manager to be able to search for uh, objects inside that group and 
next thing is to create a device collection. Uh, so, as the compliance, device collection, right click, create device collection. And we've got a name, it's well, just because it's easy. We're going to base it on all systems. And here, we also want to use incremental updates for this collection. So it could be, so it can be updated automatically. Uh, we're going to make add rule. We're going to choose add rule, a query rule. I'm going to name the query rule. Then we're going to go to edit query statement. And we will go to show query language because I already had the query done. If I can find it. So this is the we call query we're going to use. And the most important thing here is that, first of all, we have the domain specified. So domain name, and then the name of the group. And then we're just going to click OK. OK. Next. Next. Success. Plus. Uh, just give it a few seconds and then it will be updated. Uh, something I also want to mention is that if you want to test your weekly query, you can do that with test.exe. Here we go. Uh, let's connect to BMI. We're going to go to SMS and then uh, site and then the site code of your uh, environment. It's TS1 for my test environment. <clears throat> and then we're going to click query. And here we can paste the query again and apply. And we just tested the query. And the query itself uh, returned one resource ID, a computer with this resource ID. Uh, so it's 1677219. Uh, Yes. I just wanted to show that off that you could test the queries here. Uh, let's go back to device collections. And uh, we had special group. Special group has one member count. If we look into the members, we now have the computer, SD010. If we now go to the special user group, members, and we add another one, SD11. Uh, apply, okay. <clears throat> and just wait a few minutes. Uh, we could force it as well if we go to uh, because well, we have to wait five minutes uh, before that. We will discover a polling method around the delta polling. But if we run full discovery here now, remember, if you have several groups, this will run a discovery on all the groups you have. But in this case, we can just do it to speed things up. We go back to the device collection and we can do update membership. Yes. And I give it a few seconds. Come on. Don't be shy. There we go. Special group now has two members. Show members. And we have these two computers. Uh, well, I think that was pretty much it. That's, well, yeah, that's everything I wanted to show you. How to manage uh, the device connections based upon ActiveX security groups. And the same things by adding computers, if you remove them, uh, you want to remove them, yes, apply, okay. 
And if we wait a few minutes now, they will be removed from this group. So hopefully this will help. And if you have any questions, uh, you can just post them below or on my blog. Uh, I will, on my blog, well below in the comment section here, I will post uh, the link to the blog post. And in the blog post itself, the weekly query will be defined. And uh, was there something else I wanted to add in the post? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to figure it out. But nevertheless, I hope this helped and I will speak to you soon.